Welcome back. I have another clean. This clean started out as a bit of a rage clean. We ran out of rage quite quickly and I just wanted a nap. My mood, my hormones, I don't quite know what it is, have been all over the flipping shop this week. I don't know whether I'm happy or I'm sad, I'm angry or I'm full of energy. I really, like I said, I just don't know what is happening to me this week. Hormonal roller coaster. And as part of that, I've kind of fallen into a bit of a, a depression where I just, I know I'm going to feel better doing things, but I don't have the energy, mentally or physically, to actually do the things that are going to make me feel better. So I tend to spend about two, maybe three hours after I wake up, just scrolling aimlessly in bed. Then I'll get up, I'll do a little bit. The dog pesters to be taken out and my whole life gets on top of me. So I end up zombified on the sofa, staring at a screen and desperately awaiting bedtime when I flop back into bed, absolutely exhausted at the end of the day, despite the fact I've done nothing. So yeah, this video is for all those people out there. Well, it's for all of you, but it's for all of those people out there that are suffering from depression, suffering from low mood, low energy. And it's okay to do enough. Because do you know what? Sometimes good enough has to mean just that. It's good enough. The house isn't pristine, but do you know what? No one's catching leprosy. Everyone's going to school and work, wearing clothes, which, you know, is quite important in the really real world. But some weeks, some days, some months even, good enough has to be good enough. And I am not putting my mental health over the top and I am not putting my physical health over the top just because I need an Instagram ready house or I'm worried that someone will judge me because nothing sits in the right place or it looks slightly untidy untidy probably never killed anybody unclean may have done but tidy probably untidy probably never has So part of this low mood, whatever it is I've got going on, has meant I've lost a lot of stuff in this house. I've lost my hairbrush. That's been missing for about a week. I lost all the bin bags, um, the big ones and the ones for the little bedside bins and bedroom bins, that sort of thing. Don't know where I put them. Could not tell you if you paid me, but hey, there we go. I've been using a comb for about a week now, which is ripping nice chunks of my hair out because it's knotty and long and it just gets wrapped around the comb. I did manage to deep clean the bins finally, so they're gonna go back in the room. So at least that's one job I've been meaning to do for about a month, actually done now and out of the way. Thank goodness for that. I think I'm actually coming out of whatever this is. It's been going maybe a week or to two weeks whatever this low mood weird thing is um and i'm finally sort of coming out of the the end of it although i am going to be doing a challenge i'm going to be doing 30 days of listening to my motivational speeches i will be recording that so you'll get to find out how that's going but i want to try and change back to how i was and i think trying to change my physical body without trying to change my mental body is there a mental body you all know what i mean trying to change my physical being without changing my mind is almost impossible so yeah please keep an eye out for those videos and try and give me some encouragement there because i don't know i think i might need it
So as some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed, Woody has been itching an awful lot lately. He has had flea treatments, but he's still itching an awful lot, which means there's a lot of his hair laying about. Now, we suspect it's due to molting. Obviously, he's losing his winter coat now. We're coming into summer and that must feel very uncomfortable and there's a lot of dead hair to sort of shed off. So we have got him some oatmeal bath shampoo to help with the itching and I've got him a an undercoat rake so we can pull off some of the undercoat and try and assist with whatever this weird itching is. This poor table, we got it so we could all sit round it and eat as a family and it gets used for birthdays and maybe Christmas and the odd family meeting when I get so annoyed at everybody and everything that I decide to call a family meeting so I can have help for two, three days or, you know, situations can be resolved for two or three days and then everything goes back to normal. So this table instead is used as just a space filler and a dumping ground. It's, yeah, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. And it, hey, at least stuff isn't on the floor for us to trip over, so there is a bright side to everything, I suppose. And now Del's home. Getting moaned at, because he came straight in the door, stood in front of the camera, so he got shooed off out of it. But he doesn't even take his uniform off some days before he's helping with the housework. He cooks tea every evening when he comes home, unless we're a little bit flush, it's payday and we get a takeaway. But I am the main home person and he is the main breadwinner. So while I help out with earning the money, he helps out with the housework. So for those of you that ask, do my family help? Yes, they do. They do help. I'm here most of the time though, so mainly it is my priority i also enjoy making content for you guys and if they help and clean the whole house what do i have to film so this works perfectly for us they do help they are there in the background doing little bits and if i ask them they help a lot more okay so in a second you're going to see baby cat she does have a shaved area on her back end there she is she did go in for surgery she's been given the snip Everything went well, she's recovering absolutely beautifully and she is 100% okay. But I just thought for those of you who may be concerned that she's had an op and how she's doing, I thought I'd just let you know she's absolutely fine, she's recovering well and it won't be long before baby cat can go into the big wide world and run around out there and enjoy life a little bit more. I think watching this video back I may well have found out what's caused my low strange mood. About a week or so ago, I can't remember the exact date, I started deep cleaning this room and 
I've emptied, you see the cupboard to the right of the screen? That's a big under the stairs cupboard and I pulled everything out from under there to sort through it and get rid of the stuff. Now as you can see by the boxes and the bags laying everywhere, I didn't get to finish it all, which means the living room has just been full of junk, like a jumble cell. You can't really get round, you can't really move or do anything in here. And I think it's just overwhelmed my brain. And that is why I can't do anything. I'm just overwhelmed all the time. The minute you come downstairs, boom, the overwhelm hits. So I need to get this room sorted. Unfortunately, this week there is Mother's Day and two birthdays. We have guests down for those birthdays, which means it probably won't get completed. However, after this week, Del has a week off. And it means he will be around to help me go through everything because most of it is stuff he's keeping to sell. So he can help me go through stuff and we can take stuff to the charity shop, the dump, or put it in his shed for his eBay stuff, which he can go through at his leisure because it's out of the way and my brain ain't getting overwhelmed. But I think I've caught on to it. Why I'm quite overwhelmed. Oh, little dance there. <laughs> I see my knees bopping. I will still be doing the 30 day challenge. I hope, like I say, you join me for that and tune in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be posting daily or weekly. We'll see how that fares, but I shall hopefully link the first video in this one. because Hopefully that will be ready by the first upload. If it's linked, it was ready. If it's not linked, it wasn't ready. Something else that will be happening during the deep clean and Dell's week off is this tumble dryer will be eventually making its way out into the kitchen where it blooming well belongs. Because as people have kindly pointed out, it does make this room look like the utility room. Now, it has served its purpose during the winter in here. It helped keep us warm, help keep the spiders warm. But also there just isn't any room to put it in the kitchen at the moment. So it has to go in here. There is literally nowhere else for it. But when he's got his week off, we can lug some bits about. There is no way I'm going to be able to get the freezer up onto the counter without him. It's just, I can do quite a lot of things. And if I tried, I probably could power lift it up there, but I'm more than likely gonna hurt myself in the process. So I'm not even going to attempt it. I do not need another week of, I'm sorry, I can't move off the sofa because I've hurt myself. This is just not going to happen. So yeah, in his week off, this will be moving and will form part of the deep clean of the living room.
I cannot wait until we've got the money together to get the living room sorted out. Currently, we are saving for the last part of the shower to go in. That's booked to go in on the 5th. I'm so excited. That's going to make life a lot easier for everybody. Currently, we have to wait an hour after each person has bathed before we can have a bath because the boiler takes an hour to heat water. It costs a fortune, takes forever, and we have to start bathing at like midday to get everybody in before bedtime. It's insane. So having the shower is going to be a game changer. We can all have a bath every day or shower every day and just oh, it's going to be amazing. And the dog after his muddy walks can get cleaned off, cleaned off, cleaned off. So he won't be spraying as much mud everywhere, which will help with the cleaning. Oh, it's just going to be a game changer. But anyway, I really can't wait until we've got enough money for this room. This room is going to change so wildly but it's going to cost a fair amount of money. I do have more shifts coming at my job, which means I can help save towards everything we need, but we need a lot. There's underlay, carpet, blinds, retiling the fire, storage solutions. There's probably new sofas because these ones have lasted us a long time, but they're now, they're not so great. They're not so comfy anymore. So new sofas, coffee tables, Paint, more paint, new doors. There's so much coming. I can't wait to show you all. Anyway, as you can tell by how happy and excited I am, my 30 day challenge is starting to work and I have been feel, like filming it while I've been editing this video. All gets very confusing when you're filming multiple videos at once. So it is working. I'm starting to realize that although everything isn't the way I want it now, that there is hope for the future. It is coming. It's going to be okay. Until I have another down mood. No, it's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Now you've just watched me scrub muck off this table. And that's the thing with mud. It stains. It's really annoying. Mud stains everything. But I've just been scrubbing this table to try and get the mud stains off of it. I'm gluing the table leg back on because for some reason this one table leg has decided it's given up the ghost. And then I realise all that effort was for naught. This table leg, the reason it's wobbly, is because the inside of it's turned to mush. It's not just that the screws come loose, the inside of the leg has turned to mush. Probably because it's so damp, damp in this room. So I have to throw the entire thing away. All that effort wasted, and now it's just kindling.
Now this is about where I get to. Literally, my physical and mental energy have gone. There's nothing left at this point. And I just want to let all of you know, as this video ends on another area of mess in my living room, that mess is okay. And sometimes just being good enough is just that. Good enough. Do your best, everybody. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.